take you guys through four bad exercises. And again, it's not the exercise that's bad, it's how the band is being placed on your body that's bad. And it's shown by a lot of people that, frankly, don't train with bands very much. And so, if you see these four exercises being used, all right, on a site or by someone else, hey, assume two things. Number one, you shouldn't do it. Number two, they probably don't know what they're talking about. Because I'm telling you, these are not good exercises, especially when you do them using this setup. The first one is the one that just absolutely makes me scared when I see it. And that is people that are squatting by taking the band and putting it behind their neck like this. All right? Not only is that irritable to your neck, all right? not only is it putting pressure on the number one joint in your neck that gives you trouble very often, but now when you squat, it's rubbing on your legs. So what are you going to do? you got to push out against the band now and stuff like that. Now you're just having to bring your arms in and rub on that band. Guys, don't go there. Just go here and do it this way, all right? Very easy way, or go to the rack position that I've showed you. Second exercise that's a bad exercise. I see this all the time. People take the band and they go behind their shoulders like this, and they go ahead and do this fly exercise. All you're working on there is rotator cuff stability, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but honestly, you can go ahead and do the same thing by placing the band here and now positioning yourself and doing the same exercise. But again, flies like this, you're welcome to do it. If you do it, please put the band between your arm and your body. But I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot better ways to do attached band flies. This is a bad exercise. It's gonna rub on your arms, it's gonna irritate your arms, and it's not gonna be fun. That takes me right to the next exercise that you've probably heard me talk about before as well, and that's doing push-ups like this, all right? Same thing, band's gonna rub on your arm, all right? It's gonna be irritable, but the other thing is, if you're doing your push-up, the band is gonna slide up and hit you in the back of the head. How do you rectify it? Guys, just go between your arm and your body, right there. Get in between your arm and your body. If you need more resistance, take your hand through the loop, and then hook it in between your index finger and your thumb. Through the loop, hook it between your index finger and thumb. Now you've got all kinds of push-up resistance and the band's not rubbing on the back of your arms, all right? Fourth and final exercise that's just a bad exercise, I see people do pull parts like this. Guys, you're not doing anything with that exercise. No, you're not engaging the scapula because the scapula doesn't work that way. Take it here and go here with it. The scapula is a diagonally planed bone that floats on your rib cage. It floats like this at an angle. So when it doesn't float up and down, all right? So what you want to do by doing this, not only are you not really working the, the mid-back muscles, but now you're not getting the scapula going. Go here, go here, go here, or go here. That's the way you want to do pull-ups, or excuse me, pull-aparts. Four bad exercises. Eliminate those setups. Change to the setup I showed you. And if you see somebody doing those kind of setups that I told you not to do, you know, move on. Go on to somebody else. Matter of fact, come to resistancebandtraining.com and I'll show you exactly how you should do it. Have a great day.